Einstein. Hey, Einstein, where's the dot, boy? Huh? <laughs> Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. Yeah, no, boy. In here you go. Sit down. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check done. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch ahead. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And precisely, 1.21 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him at the time machine. <laughs> I'm stuck, you little devil! He's all right. He's fine, and he's completely unaware that anything happened. As far as he's concerned, the trip was instantaneous. That's why his watch is exactly one minute behind mine. He skipped over that minute to instantly arrive at this moment in time. Come here. I'll show you how it works. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. That was the heat wave. <laughs> Martha and the Mandela's. This is WR New York Radio. Hey, uh, how about a little bit of the king, huh? Yeah, why not a little of the king? You having trouble working an eight-hour shift at the hospital, watching the kid, whipping up a little bowl of eggs? We're calling With Mary Donna Reed. Hey, i go for you and Chinese takeout over her any day. <laughs> because I love you too much, baby. Queens, are you there, Queens? Did I lose you? Hey, Frank. Give the radio a rest. Your son wants to say goodnight. All right, I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. Would parallel universes never become aware of each other? Who knows? It's a strange idea in the... Elvis, you all right? Oh, sorry. You okay, Frank? Elvis. We're fine. You all right, buddy? You okay, buddy? Not just the are going to have a serious impact on radio communication for the next six or seven days. Would, would parallel universes never become aware of each other? Who knows? It's a strange idea in the Elvis, you all right? Oh, sorry. You okay, out. Frank? Elvis, but we're fine. You all right, buddy? will be part of the way we think oh. about how things are actually You okay, buddy? Not just the Aurora. The sunspots are going to have a serious impact on radio communication for the next six or seven days. Take me out with the ball game. Take me out with the crown. Cause it's root, root, root for the home team. How the hell did you do it? Do what? Do what? series you call Buford's home how the hell did you do it <laughs> wasn't too tough buddy game happened 30 years ago yeah right right yeah 30 years ago yeah sure what'd you say your name was Frank Frank Sullivan you're Pretty telling right. me your name is Frank Sullivan you live in Queens and you want to know how I called the first game in the 1969 World Series yeah that's exactly what I want to know 
Now you listen to me. My name is John Francis Sullivan. I live at 343 42nd Avenue, where I lived my whole life. And I saw the first game of the 1969 World Series right here in this house 30 years ago. Bullshit. My father's name is Francis Patrick Sullivan. He was a firefighter and a diehard Mets fan. And every night Bullshit. when I went to bed, he sang to me, take me out to the ball game. Father used to tell me the future can give you anything you want. Come on, what do you do? What do you do? If you wait long enough, the future will create it. Maybe through technology or maybe just by making you not want it anymore. Either way, the answer is in the future. What's wrong, boss? Come on. You want to go back to obedience school? Yeah. I didn't think so. Oh, hi, Jackie. And Taylor. Did he really say not to tell me? Mm-hmm. Hey, the whole point of the favor was discretion. Come on, boss. Come on. Come here, boss. So you saw it? You saw the van? When do we go? The situation's changed. I'm going alone. Who's going to watch your back? Boss, of course. I'm serious. Nobody's been on this land in decades. You guys don't have anything to worry about. It's going to be fine. Perfect. Then we'll be back in no time, right? <laughs> You're just going to hold down the fort, huh? Boss? Boss! What the hell? Let's go. Come on, come on.
Our batteries died. I seem to have lost my dog. I got your note, and I'm afraid there must be some kind of misunderstanding. As far as I know, the lake house has been empty for several years. Maybe your note was intended for the Sandberg house down the shore. Since no one has lived in this house for years. But I'm curious about the paw prints. I used to live at the lake house. Then I moved. Now I live at 1620 North Racine in Chicago. I'd appreciate it if you'd forward my mail if you get any. Oh, by the way, it's 2006. Has been all year, ask anyone. 2006? What does it mean? 2006. Oh, God. Oh, God. Speaking of the past, though, I've been thinking about the paw prints. How is that possible? Well, I think we have the same dog. Oh, yeah? What's yours like? According to the vet, mine's eight years old in my time, uh, six in yours. She's skinny, has sad eyes, snores, and sleeps like a person. I don't know why, but I call her Jack. Hello, Jack. I realize how isolated I've let myself become. Believe me, you can get a bit desperate. That one? Okay. There you go. Nice move. Very nice. Nice. about a week. Uh. I want 
I'm going to see if I can bring Hawking back in time with me through physical contact. Today, Mommy is taking me to play with Kaylee and Tommy. I will meet their father and see what a real dad is like. <laughs> Great. See you soon. Today, Mommy is taking me to play with Kaylee and Tommy. I will meet their father and see what a real dad is like. Do you see that? Yeah. What's up with the smoke? Woo! 
What the hell is wrong with you? Haley, God, come on, please wake up. Wake up, please. Wake up. Why don't you fucking kiss it, Prince Charming? How long was I out? Kelly, what's wrong? Oh, Read me something. Be getting something out of this. <laughs> Darren Crockett, make those awful screams. Uh, just writing about it gives me the shivers. Come on. Come on. It was uh, like Tommy was possessed or something. There was a hate in his eyes. They never do. We took the woods line to took here just to make sure we wouldn't go up into Tommy. We hadn't seen the smoke yet. Hold on! Hold on! We took the woods line to took here just to make sure we wouldn't go up into Tommy. Good, Evan. I'll do whatever you want. If you don't want me to see Kaylee ever again, fine. Just let Crockett go. Besides, if you kill him now, I'll stick you in juvie for sure. And I know you'd never leave your sister alone with your father. Edward, I need your opinion. I like the first one. I'm serious. Dante wants a second dinner. It's okay. It's my turn. Oh. Thanks, hon.
Neil Armstrong ain't got shit on me. Josh, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Guys? Oh my god. Are you okay? I saw us. What do you mean us? Us. I, I saw us. I fucking saw us. here? We yes, did. us here right now. I, I watched us. I watched us for like 15 minutes. You were gone for like five seconds. Fabric of time. It was over the East River Cake, just where I said it would be. You found the portal. A portal into April 28th, 1876. I jumped off the Brooklyn Bridge <laughs> and took a walk in 1876 today. I followed my great great grandpa around the whole New York. <laughs> Are you listening? Avidly. Because here's the twist, Kate. Here's the kicker. <laughs> What's the kicker? <laughs> he followed. You say this is no kidnapping. You say you mean no harm. Then why is it, sir, you will not unlock the door? Look, with all due respect, I can't let you just go running around free out there, okay? This is New York City. It's not just a safe place anymore. I understand you have some anxiety, but you have to trust me. I'm going to get you home, okay? Bart! <laughs> The portal opens up again next week. Monday, I know that because it was my backup in case I didn't make it last night. It's not a cycle, you know, it's kind of like a uh, total eclipse. Once every 20 years, you understand? Generally, I understand everything. Since I've met you, nothing. <laughs> I'd be honored if you took a look at those. Um, I'll explain everything when I get back. He's gotta go out or he's gonna drop a bomb in there. Let's go. Back in five. Come on, Bart. Hey, let's go. Come on, let's go. Lake Erie out there. You just can't toss a dog out into the hall like that. You can't do that. I assure you, I did not. Let's go. I beg your pardon. Come on, let's go. Go. 
Good Lord, it still stands. <laughs> that, my friend, is a miracle. What? It's a miracle, man. It's a bridge. Tell me, when did they adapt it for steam engines? <laughs> Goodbye, Rigget. <laughs>
Some food or something. There's this new Jamaican brunch spot that just opened up down the block. Listen, I'd love to, but I gotta kind of get back home to my dog. Well, that sounds like a lie. There he is. Oh my god. He's so cute. Oh. That's my Jeter boy. <laughs> you know, Jeter like. Yeah, Derek. like Derek. You boys are so predictable. No, I'm available for sitting, FYI. Ah, oh, shit. Don't worry about it. Hey, G, you good, little man? Some treats. You'll get a treat. You'll get a treat. You'll get a treat. Oh, come on, man. What the My fuck? bad, dude. I did, I totally did oh, not see you. Jesus. Listen, let, let me pay for it. You got a problem here? Nah, sirs. No problem, man. Do me a favor, Why you? What the? Why Put are you the talking bag down and step against the wall for me. What? I'm good, oh, actually. Stop. Hey. Get his head. Get his head. Get his head. Get his head. So predictable. You know, I'm available for sitting, FYI. Ah, oh, shit. Don't worry about it. Whoa, careful, man. It's a new shirt. My bad, bro. My so bad. good. <laughs> no harm, no, no foul. Doubt. No doubt. Nice shirt, though, man. Everything all right here, fellas? Yes, sir. Everything is just fine. It's all right, you are your arrest. Come on. Stop. You are your arrest. Two weeks for my shirt. Fuck up. Figure something out. Because it don't matter how long it takes or how many times it takes. One way.
way or another. I'm getting home with my fucking dog. Just the way it is Some things will never change That's just the way it is